So we now need an equation to describe the displacement of the particle or any particle undergoing simple harmonic motion. We've just said that the acceleration when a body is undergoing simple harmonic motion is given by minus k on m x. And we already know that acceleration is just the second derivative of the displacement. So we know this equation now. So what expressions will satisfy this equation? Well, rather than go through the really hard maths to work that out, I'm going to present a solution to you and we're going to prove that this is a solution. So x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi is a possible solution. Let's prove that now. Okay, so we've got x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi. And we have to show d squared x dt squared, which is a of x, is equal to minus k over m x. So this satisfies this. Okay, let's take the first derivative of this function here. We know that the derivative of the position is equal to the velocity. So velocity is dx dt. Okay, to take the derivative of this, we've got a function of time in here. So when we take the derivative of a cos function, we end up with a minus sign. So we've got minus a, this constant. The derivative of the inside of this cos function is omega, and then sine omega t plus phi. Okay, now we need to take the second derivative of this function. So the acceleration is equal to d squared x dt squared. And this is equal to minus. Now when we take the derivative of sine function, we end up with cos. We also need to take the derivative of what's in, inside. So this is a omega squared cos omega t plus phi. Okay, now with this function, the a cos omega t plus phi up here, that's what we called x. So we can write this as equal to minus omega squared x. And we were asked to show that this satisfied an equation of this form. So we need to show that this is equivalent to minus k on m x. Well, omega is just any number. We haven't defined what omega actually is yet. So it can be anything. And we've got this negative out the front, we've got this negative, we've got this x, and we've got this x. So these are of the same form, as long as omega squared is equal to k on m. So this satisfies our simple harmonic motion requirements if omega is equal to the square root of k on m. So this equation actually appears on your formula sheet. This one you're expected to know. So now a couple of questions for you to answer. Is this the only solution? And why did we bother to put in the phi?